Welcome back, and if you recall last time, uh, I told you that we were going to re-lay up this uh, door frame. So one of the things we're going to do here to improve some things is um, create some pressure intensifiers for where the door locks are going to be. And so what Jeff's done here, he's got this uh, wax that's basically the thickness of what the door frame materials is going to be, and he's laid it up there, and he's going to be pouring in, or sort of laying in these blocks that are going to be able to pop out, and then we'll put them, push them back in when we lay up the, the um, actual part. Anyway, meanwhile, um, there's more of the different plugs here getting ready to have their molds pulled, and this is one of the ones for uh, the rear of the uh, straight tank. So that's ready to get its first half laid up. And this is uh, the one for the braces that go between the firewall and the aft bulkhead. So that one's uh, just about ready to have the mold uh, laid up on that one. And here's the other one for the tank, and that's already had one half done, and it's... Uh, getting set up here to have the other half laid and these are these um, sort of sample coupons that we laid up there the other day so varying thicknesses of carbon fiber and that's actually been baked in the oven now so it's it's pretty uh, rigid and so it's going to be cut into pieces and we're going to be um, bonding the uh, acrylic to that and then doing some tests where we try and shear it apart and in the meantime um, this is the main spar and getting ready to lay that one up but in the meantime we're also going to create another set of test um, coupons the same one as what you just saw because we wanted to be able to do a few more tests that we hadn't thought about earlier so that one uh, is all waxed now and uh, to lay it up but we're using the top part here as you can see just lay that up today with uh, another piece or several different layers of carbon fiber in there so that one uh, didn't take that long to lay up. So back to the testing, this is our sample piece of acrylic and it's been sanded there with varying different uh, grits, so um, 80, 120 and 180. And so we're going to be cutting up those uh, sample strips that you saw before and bonding uh, those to, that, to those surfaces there and then trying to pull it apart and see what sort of uh, pressure or what sort of force it takes to pull it apart. So here we've had to set up a rig and this is on our welding table and you can see basically we've bolted this um, brace here across the table and it's just sort of welded into place and then there's an opening in the middle there where we'd be able to, s able to set the acrylic and obviously this steel is just here so we can test it uh, but the acrylic will be on that side and then the coupons, the carbon coupons will be coming out through this side and then they'll be basically bolted there so we'll be able to pull on this um, in one's just going to be in shear and the other one's going to be what's a t-peel and you'll see that so here this is our our load um, cell that we've purchased and that um, there you can see there's a hinge point there that little pin does not doing anything there I just want to pull it out so show you it wasn't doing anything. but anyway the bolt there is the hinge point for this arm and then the chain is on there and then we have our uh, our jack there and then this other thing is just bolted to the table so we can basically jack up the force across that uh, load cell there and you see we turn this thing on and then I'll show you we just do a little bit of a test here and show you how much um, we can crank it up and we actually had it up to uh, 1100 pounds uh, yesterday just in testing and it's uh, all holding nicely so that's good and we hoping to be able to test up to at least that amount um, on the carbon fiber bonding so you see you basically set up the jack here and start sort of cranking on it so put the arm in there and start pushing that out and you'll see the force starts going up there or the load and just for a test here, I just ran it up to 500 pounds. It doesn't take much um, time to do that. So you'll see we'll be testing uh, those bond strengths because um, we want to prove uh, that the bond strength um, from the carbon to the acrylic is what we expected it to be. Um, and that way we'll be comfortable knowing that uh, the windows are going to stay in um, the way that they've been designed to stay in. And obviously if we don't get the strengths we want, we'll be looking at a fallback plan. So here we are a little bit further along with these um, inserts. They're going to be the pressure intensifiers for those locks. And you can see Jeff's put uh, down just a bit of the top coat, which is that same black stuff we use when we're creating the mold. 
just put that in there and the next step is to lay that in with some uh, resin with some uh, flocks and and uh, micro or yeah I think they use flocks and micro you'll see it in a minute uh, anyway there's uh, one of those tank ones there basically laid up with a top coat ready to have um, almost ready to have the layers of, of uh, glass put on there and this is the one for the uh, uh, leading edges of the strakes that are on attached to the doors and you see uh, Zach's there just laying out the uh, uh, fiberglass on that one and today I cut all this uh, carbon fiber for laying up the door frame so there's about 30 pieces there because we're doing about four layers all together three layers of heavy and one la layer of light all the way around the frame and of course across where the armrest is so it's a bunch of stuff that had to be cut up but it's all ready um, to lay that up hopefully tomorrow and there's uh, Roberto and Chris and they're laying up the heavy glass on this um, mold mold which is the um, backing and front sort of ribs on the strake and the uh, tank so here's those uh, blocks laid in place there and they'll be popped out and cleaned off and then we'll have these pressure intensifiers for when we lay up the door and hopefully that'll be tomorrow or the next day so those will be popped out tomorrow and cleaned up and then maybe we'll be laying up the door tomorrow and lastly I wanted to show you just this little sample piece that uh, came back from the guys across the way who are doing the laser cutting for us this is one of the internals for the uh, hook uh, locks for the doors so you can just see that was that's just basically mild steel but it, you know, cut with a laser so it's pretty neat anyway we'll see more of that later that's our update for the first half of this week and thanks again for watching